Assalamualaikum. This is Dr. Hasna with Hasna Academy, and today we'll be discussing the model of the mediastinum. So, what is the mediastinum? It is a median septum in the thorax. So, this is the entire thoracic cavity. We have this middle part of the thoracic cavity covered by this tissue called the mediastinum, which contains all of these contents you can see right here on this side, on this side, and everywhere. But before I talk about the mediastinum, let's talk about the boundaries of it. So how does the mediastinum begin? Anteriorly, it is bounded by this entire sternum. Sternum 2 is divided into a manubrium, a body, and a zephoid process. Posteriorly, you'll see the thoracic vertebra forming the posterior boundary of the mediastinum. On either side over here will be the two lungs over here, and over here two lungs which have the mediastinal pleura covering over here. And inferiorly, you can see it's clear that the diaphragm is lying inferiorly to the mediastinum. The mediastinum is divided into two parts, but how is it divided? Let me show you. Basically, it is divided by a transverse thoracic plane, which is an imaginary line that passes from the sternal angle. What is the sternal angle? This angle right here joining manubrium to the body of the sternum or the manubriosternal joint. Anteriorly, it runs from the sternal angle all the way posteriorly till the fourth thoracic vertebra. This transverse thoracic plane on its pathway to the back, it also passes through the arch of aorta and through the left principal bronchus, all right? Let's talk about the contents of the superior mediastinum. The superior mediastinum is what lies right behind the sternum, this gland known as the thymus. It's basically a lymphoid organ, which is present in childhood, but during puberty, it actually involutes. Trachea, right behind the trachea is the esophagus. And then you can see the superior vena cava being formed in the superior mediastinum by these two veins known as the brachiocephalic veins, right and left. Apart from that, in the superior mediastinum, what you will see is the thoracic duct. Better visualized, this is the thoracic duct and right deep to that is the esophagus you can see. Alright, you can even see in this superior mediastinum the arch of aorta. And what are the branches of the arch of aorta? You will see them in the superior mediastinum. You can see the carotid arteries going towards the neck. Let's talk about the inferior. Now the inferior mediastinum is further divided into an anterior mediastinum, middle mediastinum and posterior mediastinum. The anterior part lies anterior to the pericardium and the posterior mediastinum lies posterior to the pericardium. What is in the anterior uh, mediastinum are the sternopericardial ligaments running between the sternum and the pericardium sternopericardial ligaments. Apart from that, the lower part of thymus gland is visible here, some areolar tissue, some fat, some lymphatics. Let's talk about the middle mediastinum. In the middle mediastinum, you can see this important yellow nerve going here, coming from the superior mediastinum. This is the phrenic nerve. Now, in the superior mediastinum, you'll see two nerves, a phrenic and a vagus. Always remember, phrenic is the one that runs anteriorly and vagus runs posteriorly. The phrenic nerve goes into the middle mediastinum. Now, what are the contents of the middle mediastinum? The phrenic nerve plus the entire pericardium, including whatever comes out of the pericardium. What is that? The ascending aorta, the superior vena cava, and all the pulmonary arteries, the pulmonary veins, the pulmonary trunk. Let's go behind talk about the posterior mediastinum. It's very obvious. You can see the azygous venous system right here. This azygous vein is entering into the superior vena cava. This azygous vein along with the hemiazygous vein and accessory hemiazygous vein are forming contents of the posterior mediastinum. Along with that, the vagus nerve and thoracic duct. And what is this muscular tube you can see here? It is the esophagus. And the most important structure of the posterior mediastinum right over here is the descending thoracic aorta. So overall, you can remember the posterior mediastinum structure by the mnemonic dates. D is for the descending thoracic aorta, A is for the azygous vein, T is for the thoracic duct, E is for the esophagus, S is for the splanchnic nerves which are about over here. You can see them coming out. So that was all you needed to know about the mediastinum. Thank you so much for watching.